Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here, and uh, today I have come up with the solution of uh, infinite spring problem, which I gave few days back. And uh, here I'm going to directly discuss the trick, not the official solution. Official solution is very complicated and lengthy for this problem. And uh, the best part is, lot of students have given uh, the right answer, which was a very good sign and uh, very en encouraging also. And uh, some of the students have come with the crazy analogy. So I'll be discussing those things uh, in this video. And guys, this is the new logo of uh, INSP. And uh, yeah, yesterday only I designed it, but uh, it looks good. So just give your feedback in the community post. So here is the problem statement which I gave. Uh, and uh, for this arrangement, I'm not reading the entire question now. For this arrangement, we have to find equivalent uh, spring constant or stiffness constant here. So let's discuss this problem directly. So here what you can uh, do is, let's leave this spring alone and we can say this entire thing here and this entire thing here is symmetrical. So in one side we are going to discuss, let's say the overall effective uh, k of this part is k1 or k equivalent or whatever way you want to write so this this is k1 so by infinite uh, circuit uh, logic i can say even from here till infinity it is going to be k1 only all right so now you can see th this unit this unit i am talking about this unit only you can see this is a, a spring here and another spring of k here and equivalent is k1 for the remaining infinite circuit and its uh, equivalent is again k1 so this is something like uh, what you do in uh, effective uh, resistance problem or effective capacitance problem of infinite grids uh, so you can see here in these two parts these two are in parallel with this in series so i can say this will give k plus k1 and this k will be in uh, <coughs> series with that so series uh, combination wise k into k, k plus k1 divided by k plus k plus k1 so when i simplify this after writing in this form i am getting this quadratic equation which is uh, 2k k1 k1 square is equal to k square plus k k1 so if i rearrange these terms it is a it is a quadratic equation in k1 so it will have two roots so i'll be writing those two roots and uh, since k equivalent cannot be negative i'm just going ahead with this uh, positive value here i'm using minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2 so here i am getting this k1 as root 5 minus 1 by 2 times k all right now the actual situation will become something like this this middle one and this side k equivalent and this side k equivalent so now you can find out that these three are in parallel so overall my answer is going to be k plus 2 k1 which is going to give me uh, root 5k you can say 2k1 and this k you bring this side so it will be, um, become root 5k this is going to be the answer for this problem i hope guys you have enjoyed this uh, short trick and uh, the official solution uh, uses recursion uh, method and uh, it's quite uh, lengthy using uh, infinite gps so this one is uh, far superior and better method here in this problem and guys this uh, for j means 2022 uh, every day at 6 pm you can have uh, a small quiz or test uh, 30 minutes 15 questions you can enroll in this and you can use my code uh, Nitin sir in order to enroll on Unacademy if you are new and uh, a new batch has uh, recently started we have just started with Coulomb's law in this so it is for uh, JE aspirants for uh, 2023 and uh, till now only one class has happened in the physics so if you are uh, looking for uh, uh, complete syllabus both 11th and 12th you can join this uh, course we'll be running two courses in parallel one for 11th class revision together and uh, one will be for uh, 12th class uh, preparation so 11th class revision will be in full depth it will not be like just a few lectures and uh, we are going ahead it will be the complete teaching of uh, entire uh, 11th and 12th class 
and we'll be completing the syllabus uh, say around uh, October end or November end so that's it guys in this video I hope you have enjoyed it and uh, you'll remember this uh, <coughs> trick or method and I'll be most likely today again I'll be posting another uh, very interesting problem which will appear tough and uh, by solution it will become easy so that's it guys thank you